In a bid to avoid a repeat of protests on the streets of Lagos, Human Rights Monitoring Agenda, Homa, has made a move to assist residents of Ijegun, Ijedudo, and Abuliado communities in ensuring that the Alimo Shore Model City Plan is maintained to avoid the loss of property and unlawful displacement of residents. Addressing the media on Monday in Shomolu, Lagos, Executive Director of Homa, Comrade Puna Ishiak, said the agency received a Save Our Souls letter from the people of Ijedodo, Ijegun, and Abuliado in Iba, local council development area, about the alleged uh, intent of Lagos State Ministry of Works in collaboration with indigents of the communities popularly known as Omonile. Lagos State House of Assembly is not unaware that we are there trying to lay the road now is not is it that it, it is a total deviation from the original plan. Original plan. Okay, this is the original plan. Yes, the legal state assembly is aware. Okay. I heard I have a, a, a video version where a member of legal state as of assembly was talking mm -hmm. that uh, the need to shift to another place and the people affected will be compensated. Okay. Now the question is from our findings, these people are the poor oppressed. We humbly sympathized with the Lagos State Government with respect to the unwarranted destruction of life and properties during the last NSAS protest. We pray for peace and development in our dear states. And we are doing everything within our capacity to ensure that uh, any action that will lead to such should be avoided uh, in our own capacity and I, and I, I hope the, the, the government will also work with us on that agenda. The pro people position of Lagos State Government, including the State House of Assembly, is highly appreciated and we hope they will do more in terms of representing the genuine interest of Lagosians and promote justice peace and development to hold. Some affected landlords and uh, landowners shared their plight with IATV News, noting that the original plan for land use and infrastructure 2010 to 2020 showed that about 500 buildings belonging to less privileged owners marked for demolition on 27th of August 2020 were marked to replace the original road. We lost so many souls for this reason. Where are we going to start from? Where are we going to start from? A widow to be. Where do I start from with my children? Do they want to drive me to go and be sleeping on the road? Go back you please. Consider us now. Eh? Consider us. And many souls died for this reason. Eh? We lost so many souls. Eh? Where do they want me to go with the children I have? No husband, nobody to rescue me. Government should please consider me. Consider me. Consider me. Only for us to hear from the mouth of Honorable Victor Akonde that is because of they are saving costs. That is why they want to demolish our houses for room. What kind of costs? With the government, with the governor, with the government say to destroy our houses. It's not one house, it's not two, about 500, 600 houses. Even if we include the bats, some part of the back, it will almost 1,000 plus. So we are not begging for the government of Lagos State. They should come to our aid by doing what is right. The people that but as we are talking now, the so people called Omonile, the indigenous of Ijedodo, are selling off the road. And now the government are now making them to enrich their pockets by destroying our properties that we have built there. We have, we have, we, some of us have a, a survey plan, building plan, sea of old. Even when the state, the House of Assembly came, they will say that our survey plan is 
irrelevant. We have a proposed road that leads from Ijego to Ijedudo, from Ijedudo to Abuleado, which we took the House of Assembly people to see on that day when they came. The physical planning people, because when this things happen, we wrote the House of Assembly. We wrote letter to House of Assembly, we wrote letter to physical planning, and, we, and uh, the governor, and the um, um, uh, works, uh, works. Ministry of Works and uh, Housing. We wrote to them. Now, physical planning came back to us that uh, to come and inspect every, to come and inspect it. So we took them to the proposed road, we took them to the pipeline, which they see for themselves. But I think the problem here is because the some Omonile, some group of Omonile at Ijedodo, not Ijego, at Ijedodo, they've started selling the proposed road meant for the construction of Ijego, Ijedodo road linking to Abuliado. The residents are pleading to re the relevant authorities to give ears to their complaints and help them in efforts to save their properties and return peace to their community.